Ayo, 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 ayo. Cross Beans Production. Welcome back, you're here with Nate to wait and this is Cross Beats Production. So in this video I want to show you guys how to set up your multiband compressor as a de -esser and use it on a vocal to remove the S's out of your vocal. So this is going to be a quick tutorial and a guide on how to do that. Hope you guys enjoy it and uh, stick around and see how this goes. So welcome back again, you're here with Nate to wait, this is Cross Beats Production. And this is going to be the tutorial on how to DS your vocals. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use your standard multiband dynamics uh, compressor in Studio One to use it as a DSer. It's quite simple to set it up. So the way it works is basically using all of these bands, you just close them all off. So normally what you'd see when you open this this uh, DSer, sorry, the compressor up, you'll see that it has multiple bands like this. So each band uh, controls dynamics on its own can be used individually to compress or uh, do whatever you need to do dy dynamic wise on your your um, your track. So what I'll do to use it as a DS, so I just move all of these to the left. As you can see, all of these dials hit straight to the left and then isolate this first one here. So this is the one we're using to DS the vocal. So first off, what I'll do is play the track in in uh, full and you'll hear the whole track and then I'll have it un -DS'd, and then I'll use the, the vocal, isolate it, DS the vocal, show you with and without and you'll be able to see the difference that this creates. So first off, how we set this up, what we do is here, this is your threshold here, so best, sorry, no, yeah, your ratio. Um, so it's set on a, on a way that it can create automatic uh, metering there. So Basically what we do here is you set your ratio down to 20 to 1. Um, that's the setting that I would typically use to do DSing. Uh, this is on the first H. So if you see this little H that's highlighted, then you know that you've got the correct band. Uh, what then you do is you can set your attack right down as fast as it can go. So one millisecond uh, attack. May not be the fastest attack in the world uh, for DSing and um, you can get DSs that do a lot quicker than that. So for example, 0.01 milliseconds which is a lot faster than one millisecond um, but you know for this what we've got is a standard plug and it works quite well so I'll set my release as fast as it can go as well so 10 millisecond release so that obviously it attacks the the transient within the S removes that and then releases the whole entire track from there so that it sounds like it's DS the vocal basically then what I do is allow that to work you isolate this frequency band here just bring it all the way across to, to the right first off and then drag it across with your mouse till you get just the S's in the vocal. And then you can then start to isolate it with the um, the threshold here. So you can pull down, sorry, you pull down your threshold on your H, sorry, so that it S, the DS's uh, or the S gets removed. And then when it sounds natural, then you can just leave it at that setting. So I'll first off show you how it works with the vocal without it. And then I'll DS the vocal right in front of you and I'll show you how it works there. Click clacks how I gather mine When I'm living this life just a minute at a time Feeling there's no other way Cause you haven't felt this pain like I do every single day Rah. So that's my vocal there I've got the vocal without any um, pro processing at all It's just a straight natural vocal And um, what I would normally do is EQ um, after I do the DSing So normally you can do it one of two ways You can EQ first and then DS or you can DS first and then EQ later. Um, either way, it's just up to your taste really on the track. So let's DS this and see what we can get. So I'll just turn this plugin on and um, I'll move this across all the way across to the maximum band. So let's just say it's not on there at all. Isolate that and then we'll just stick on the H and we'll go from there. So let's put this vocal on and I'll just play it with the SSR and we'll see how we go. Click. All right, cool. So we've isolated that part of the S. You can hear that it's really harsh and that's the part we want to remove. So let's just try and get about minus 6 dB reduction on the output here. You can see it reduce and you'll see it here as well. So let's just move that so it's uh, a full hard knee and we'll go from there. All right, cool. So it sounds like it's DS some of that out already. Now... Whoa, hang on. What we're going to try and do then is uh, keep keep it so it sounds natural, but sounds like it's uh, removed the harshness. So I'll unisolate that 
and then we'll just play with it a bit. Click clacks how I gather mine when I'm living this life just a minute at a time feeling there's no other way. Click clacks how I gather mine when I'm living this life just a minute at a time. All right, cool. So if you just mess around with the threshold, get it to where it sounds natural, um, where it's not pumping or anything like that, but it's removing the S's to the harsh part out of the vocal. And then you can just mix, mess, mess around with the, the hertz and where it sits on, on the frequency spectrum there, um, just so it also sounds natural. So you don't want to remove too much of the, the actual vocal out, but you just want to get rid of that really harsh S's so it gets rid of that and it makes the vocal sound pleasable to the ear or pleasing to the ear. So let's play that and we'll mix around, mess around with it a bit. Click clacks how I gather mine When I'm living this life just a minute at a time Feeling there's no other way Click clacks how I gather mine When I'm living this life just a minute at a time All right, awesome. So that sounds like it's removed most of the S that I didn't like and it's allowed some of the natural sound to come through. And I'll just play it without and then with, and you guys can hear the difference. Click clacks how I gather mine when I'm living this life just a minute at a time. Click clacks how I gather mine when I'm living this life just a minute at a time. Awesome. So that's as simple as it is. It's not really that hard to do. And you can use standard plugins within Studio One to do this. This is why it's really good. Um, so if you have any questions in the comments, just let me know, um, hit me up in the comments, I'm happy to help you guys out. Uh, but that's pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward. These, these uh, other bands here, you don't have to use them, you can use them if you want to, to compress your vocal a bit further, but to be honest, I think it's best to keep one process to one thing and then use another compressor to do the other parts. So um, that's it for this tutorial, hope you guys enjoyed it, hopefully it was uh, helpful and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember to subscribe and like and all that good stuff, make comments and all that jazz. So love you guys and peace. Hit that subscribe button, make a comment, yeah. If you're gonna dislike, if you're gonna dislike, get the heck out of here.